Hey guys, welcome back. It's Star. Today we have an interesting video. We will be talking about the $300 Snow the Salt Queen who recently changed her username to something that I have not memorized. Uh, her $300 Junko wig, which arrived in this box um, around Christmas time last year when uh, a good, good, good friend of mine got it for me, uh, who supported me since the beginning of my cosplay career, at least as far as when I started getting, like, noticed. <laughs> so, to start this off, we're actually going to start off with a little story time of the whole buying process. There might be some shade. I'll start it off with Snow was my favorite cosplayer. Like, I looked up to Snow, I was like, wow, like the way she impersonates people, and her makeup, and her wigs, and wow, like she's really, really incredible. And then after I got the wig, the more that I found out about her, the more I saw about kind of the way she was putting herself in the community and treating other people. Um, she, she's just not my favorite cosplayer anymore, and that's my opinion, no harm to Snow, you know, I think it's awesome. She got like a million people on TikTok, that's so cool. You know, respect, respect, but it just, personally, um, I'm gonna be sharing my opinions. No offense, I'm not gonna try to be offensive, I'm just sharing my perspectives and the experience and what happened, because it was really disappointing, <laughs> honestly. So let's jump right into it. Alright, so I'm going to reference my phone here for a few parts, just because I was speaking with my friend to help me remember. I don't want to twist anything, I don't want my memory and disappointment of what happened to affect what actually happened as far as how I'm storytelling. Um, so I'm just going to scroll up a little bit. My friend approached Snow um, because I admired her Junko wig so much and asked, you know, hey, how much for a Junko wig? And Snow said around $2.50, not including shipping. My friend was like, that's fine. You know, done. Got it. So it had been a, a little while. Um, it was taking longer than it should have taken. They reached out. It was just, it was kind of hard for him to like get in contact with her. It was over Instagram, and I, you know, popularity. There's a lot of messages. So I guess first flaw, there's not a way for you to really connect with Snow directly to, like, for efficiency's sake to get the wig. It's like, oh no, you're still one in the crowd, and she'll get to you when she does, <laughs> which was just kind of like. Okay, so she said that the wig is the cost of five wigs plus her labor and time. It would be two fifty dollars without tracking shipped. Around this time, I don't know if anybody remembers, there was a bunch of drama when Snow turned off her account, and there was like this whole thing about like, oh, she was kidnapped and this and that, like publicity stunt, whatever it was. And so my friend was like, hey, how's the wig coming along? Like, are you, like and also just really concerned about Snow, like, hey, uh, 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 you know, we didn't know what was going on. And then eventually, of course, her account got back on, or I don't know if they use her pronouns. I'm just thinking of them as Junko, so I'm saying her. Anyways, let me keep going. Okay, so then around that time, uh, it was Christmas time, and the package with the wig was supposed to arrive around December. And I was nervous because I was leaving to visit some family in December, and I was like, okay, well, hopefully, you know, it doesn't arrive, and you know, get stolen or something crazy. I was waiting for the shipment and apparently it hadn't gotten shipped out yet. And we were like, okay, what's happening? Like it's been two or three weeks and it was supposed to be shipped out already. Hasn't been shipped out. And eventually I had to leave for my family. I was hoping the wig would get there before I left and I had to leave. So I left and two weeks later or a week later, uh, I came back home and my dad had actually gotten a bunch of presents delivered to my apartment for Christmas and they were all stolen. And I was super bummed because I was like, oh no, the Junko wig must have gotten here too, and it must be gone. And I like, I wrote a letter and I put it on my door and I was like, please, if you're the thief, like, just put the wig back, please. Like, I don't care about anything else. You can take all the whatever else. I don't even know what got shipped because I don't know what I got for Christmas because it all got stolen. But I was like, oh, like, please just bring the wig back. And so my friend sends a message to Snow and goes, uh, oh, what's up with the wig? And she's like, oh, I'm going to ship it out. Or let me just reference, I don't want to... This is my memory. That's when a bunch of your packages were stolen. I told her that, I told her that, and she said she could remake the wig at the cost of the five wigs, which was around 135. I don't really remember. But this is the strange part. It was strange because between the time the wig arrived and we reported it missing, we had organized a replacement. Okay, let me rewind a sec. After we told Snow, oh my God, we think the wig got stolen. 
she was like, oh, yeah, I haven't, or what'd she say? I got this box before she said she sent the new wig out. But he paid for both. He paid for the, the $300 for the first wig and the 130 whatever, you know, almost $500 for what was supposed to be two wigs, one that maybe got stolen, but also, from what it sounded like, hadn't even been shipped out yet. Which then this arrived soon after, but before the replacement wig was even, like, they didn't finish talking about it. Like, I was very confused. I, I felt bad for my friend because I feel like he got scammed out of a bunch of money for this already really expensive wig, which I get, you know, it's the styling, it's five wigs. That's so crazy. Snow, if you're watching this, did you send out a second wig? Because, like, I just... It was so weird because I got the box soon after we had said, you know, where's the wig? Did it get stolen? And he had paid her for the second one. So like, maybe it did get stolen. Maybe it took longer in the mail because it wasn't priority and it was the holidays. I don't know. And you know, Snow's really hard to get in contact with, so. Mm. Oh, this is my shade coming out. I'm just like, kind of hurt, you know, because there was a whole, it was so hard to communicate, and it was so much, and it, mm, okay, anyways, mm, let's dive into this $300, $500 wig, shall we? Now, you might still sense some sass on my face. This is because of how I received this package. Yeah, like, you know, cool wig, cool, whatever. Let me just, let me just open this up. So, open this up. Oh, that's my Junko cosplay. I put it in the bag in here too. Um, the wig came in these plastic grocery bags. All right, in this box, just you know, like this. Um, no note. No, thank you for your purchase. You know, thanks for spending five hundred dollars on this wig. Nothing. Just a wig thrown in some grocery bags, thrown in a box. We have one clip here. The base wig. Another clip, that's a little longer. Another short clip. <laughs> we have another clip, one more clip. So we have one, two, three, four, five clips. Which I was confused about because I was like, that's an odd number. And she has two pigtails. But then I thought, you know, maybe because of the ponytail. That, that makes sense. Now, with no letter, nothing in this. This wig also came with these. I don't know what these are. <laughs> like, I'm still kind of new at cosplay, like I've been in the community for a while, but I've never seen something like this, and I don't know if you use bobby pins, but no note, so it's not like I, I could really know, and it's not like if I reached out to know that she'd reach out back to me, because it's not even like she'd respond to my friend who paid $500 for this wig, so, oh god, I'm getting too aggressive, I need to calm down, I need to calm down. <sighs> All right, so there's two of these. Oh, another clip. Okay, so we do have an even number of clips. Six clips. Um, and then three of these. Oh, and then here's the Kroger bags that the wig came in. Um, my frustration is my friend paid for her time and labor constructing the wig and, you know, buying the five wigs. My question is, I don't think, I, I don't know what was constructed. That's where I'm confused. I I don't know what the base wigs look like that she used, but I feel like this is something that you just buy, you know, all these, whatever. And I feel like these clips are something that you would just buy. Which in my head tells me the only thing she styled were the bangs on the wig, which are the simplest things anyone can do. Like, anybody can style bangs. It might take a couple tries. It, like, it probably took me a good three or four tries to get like good bangs for my wigs. I mean like starting at the beginning as I styled wigs, maybe four tries. The thing is I don't even like how she styled the bangs. Like there are oh, also the reason I'm making this video is because wearing the wig all together, one it doesn't look like her wig because it's not styled. Like that's why I'm making the video. I have to style the wig. I need hairspray, I need to cut things because when you just put it on doesn't look like her wig, it's just the wig that I guess she cut bangs on the base wig for. You, know, you can see these bangs here. I 
can get a brush too, but I'll just use my fingers. Like, they're, they're okay. They're pretty okay with uh, bangs, but like, what I don't like, what I don't like seeing in cosplay wigs is when the ends, there's these flat ends that don't look natural hidden in here. And that's what I don't like seeing in cosplay wigs. I was just, I was so excited to cosplay Junko and I had so much fun, and I'm definitely gonna cosplay Junko again, but when I had it all, all on, the wig just looked flat. It didn't have volume, which I expected it to be styled and have some sort of volume, but like, there's nothing, these are a little tangled now, because I've worn them, worn them a few times, but um, there's nothing in these. Like, there's nothing giving them a volume, giving them a tease. Um, they're just clips that I clip onto the thing and then onto here. And like I said before, I don't know what to do with these, so I started wrapping these around the clip on the outside to add some volume and then to just clip it in like that. Um, but I still I have no idea what those things are for. Snow. If you're watching this, you need a way to contact people who are buying from you. Speak with them directly so that they can get fast responses from you and troubleshoot things quickly. You need to be upfront and honest with the process, the exact price, when you're gonna ship, and stick to your date. Because you had told my friend that it was gonna arrive weeks before it did while I was still home. And it didn't. And then we thought maybe it arrived while I was away and got stolen. But it doesn't seem like that's true. And then it seems like you took advantage of my friend. Like, that's not cool. <laughs> it's just not. <laughs> and then third, if you could include a note or anything from your fans who look up to you, you know, oh hey, if you need any help with the wig, oh hey, here's a link to a video where I show you how to put on the wig. Like. That's kind of thoughtful. Like, that that seems like kind of the least you could do. I don't know, maybe I'm an idiot. You don't know how to put on a wig? Ugh. You know, but maybe I am. And maybe I need your help with that because I had looked up to you so much and how incredible your cosplays were. Anyways, that is the $300, $500 Junko wig from Snow Salt the Queen. I hope this video was educational and uh, if you're planning on buying one, there are probably better ways and better people to buy from. Sorry, Snow.